All right, everyone. So Deion Sanders responded to Paul Feinbaum's recent comments. Uh, he said a lot of things. You know, the one that he's responding to here is basically irrelevancy of Colorado's irrelevant. But he also talked about the reporter, the columnist that they banned from asking questions. So here is the clip of Dion responding. So when you when you hear guys like pa Paul Feinbaum calling your program irrelevant. Colorado is nothing. They don't matter. Uh, they're irrelevant in the big picture of college football. You're talking about us. Mm. How can we be irrelevant and you talking about me? Mm. Like, every time I turn around, somebody's sending me a quote that you talking about. Mm. Mm. He's a fan. How? <laughs> well, well, the thing about a fan, you got to understand, a fan only blows when you're hot. Ooh. So we must be hot. I know what he's doing, and I'm proud of him, that he's smart enough to understand that this generation and this thought process and the way we communicate on sports is different, and he's a dying breed. So what does he have to do to stay and keep up with this change? Oh, I got to go find that big bad wolf and talk about it. Yeah. So now I keep my relevancy. And I'm saying, oh, cool, but I'm not going to help him. I'm not going to add to you. I'm not going to respond, because that's what you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just want me to respond. Mm -mm. I don't do that. I'm not going to help you come up. I love it. There's, <laughs> uh, there's so many layers to that reference. That you're <laughs> right. Right. He said, I got to go find a big, bad wolf. That's right. And he got that great beard. That's Look right. Out. That's right. <laughs> Look out. That's right. Now, we're not going to really get into who's right and who's wrong on this whole situation, but I do want to talk about this idea about Colorado, right? Like this media coverage of Colorado, because I think it's one of these things where it seems like everybody is wrong. The bottom line is last year when Deion Sanders comes into Colorado and they start the season as well as they did, I think it was three and one, that the media coverage throughout that entire four game stretch was getting out of hand, right? And Deion was playing into that, there's no question, uh, but the media coverage was hyping this team up. And then once they went on to lose a bunch of games and they finished four and eight and only win one game down the stretch, you know, the media coverage didn't reflect the same in the opposite direction, meaning it didn't be like, wow, what a terrible season. Everybody was kind of like, okay, it wasn't the hype job that we put it out to be, but it was fine. And so going into year two, there's a higher expectation. And I think Dion has to understand that. He has to understand that, you know, the first season was fine because he, the prior season that he, before he came, Colorado was really bad. So that, it's okay, right? Getting those four wins, that's a big deal. That's a huge, huge deal. But now it has, there has to be some growth this year. And, and I just think everybody kind of misses that with Colorado. Like the bottom line is Deion Sanders is the reason Colorado is relevant. And it's not just because of the amount of games they won. It's because Deion is such a big star. And I think people do kind of have to keep that in mind. You know, if if this was any other coach coach in Colorado, people would be like, eh, well, I shouldn't say any other coach, obviously any big name coach. But if this was just, you know, your average coach getting his first job or your average coach, you know, who went from a smaller school to Colorado, the, the Colorado, you know, they, they wouldn't be viewed in this way. There wouldn't be this much media coverage. So, yes, Deion Sanders makes them relevant. But it also is true that if the Colorado goes out there this year and they go 4-8 and again or they lose more games than they did last year or they go 5, you know, they win only one more, in all, in basic terms, they would have been an irrelevant team as pertains to the national title discussion. So I think that's important to keep in mind. It's not, you know, this is just the truth of the situation. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you next.